Hi. I'm surprised anyone's on because it's New Year's Eve, you know. So I presume, I presume most people are out having a party or going to party. I'm not at all. I'm sitting meditating. <laughs> just got out the shower to stop. <laughs> I'm on my own having my tea. Very happy. <laughs> Gonna meditate. Hi. Meditate and chill and... I woke up late because I'm busy with a big integration. Right. So there's a, I'm busy processing. There's a big integration coming through. There was a big, um, oh, well, you want, if you want to say downloads, upgrade, but a big shift. So it's a lot. Hi, Happy New Year. Yeah, you too. It's a big shift integrating. Wow. It's, it's another level, another level, which is still busy integrating. And actually, if you, I think the energy started coming in on 20, 29, 29th or 28th. Wow, uh, this caused the storm too. Wow, hectic energies came in. Um, hi, happy new everybody. So this is exactly, I was thinking about that. I mean, there's many things, many downloads. I did a meditation just now that came through about there's so many replays happening in the collective humanity. So if you watch what, what what's going out in the collective, you can see it replaying. So humanity can look again and see, okay, maybe we need we didn't do that right. We need to look again, choose again. Like we're doing personally, you know, in your personal lives, your shadow, what they call shadow work, is coming up and you're like, oh, okay, you know, it's for you to, to let go, for you to see it in a different perspective. This is what's happening in the global, so-called humanity, global world out there, you know, the Maya. This is what's happening. Uh, and you see the 1980s sort of is re a replay, the Cold War replay, for us to see what we did wrong. Interesting, very interesting. Anyway, but I want to go into that because... You know, the ego, it's still, it's still coming through a filter. I mean, things come to you intuitively, but it's still coming through a filter of the ego. Um, for, the, for this year coming up, I see a massive love revolution. Wow, I see a big shoot up in love, in the energy of love. Um, like a love virus going through the public, basically. So, um, yeah. And we're going to be spreading a love virus big time <laughs> so I'm going to be very much behind that one spreading love unity big a love a virus of love big time you've got this need to just want you just want to collaborate you just want to just there's this unity you're going to, I, and I feel this so deep there's going to be a surge of this everyone just wanting to be together like joy happiness love unity it's going to be this coming from people Anyway, lots of things. I, I'll, I'll maybe go into them. I've seen the very interesting stuff that came to my consciousness. Reflecting on, on science, what's, and I'm laughing, because scientists are not seeing, it's a, they're not getting it, they'll get there. There's a big push in science at the moment, and scientists to study um, consciousness. Where does it come from? They're looking in the brain. So you've got all these neuroscientists. I was watching, I shared a video actually yesterday. <laughs> so I'm listening to this, there's neuroscientists studying the brain, trying to find out, they want to download human consciousness into a chip or a computer, right? So they can make you eternal, which you really are. They're not realizing it. Like, what, 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 do we tap, what are you tapping into? Many lives, your whole, you know, that's it. They think they can download this into a computer. <laughs> anyway, I <laughs> find this very amusing. So you've got, hi, you've got all these scientists studying the human brain or their so-called thing, consciousness. Where does it come from? Okay, you like the taste of apple. Where is that coming from in the brain? So they're looking for how they can download this. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Onto a computer, right? But it's not in the brain. This is the part, I mean, the Buddhists, they're not going to buy it. The Buddhists can tell them because it's got to be, they've got it. They want, they want science, they want physical evidence always. You see what I mean? So what I, what I was laughing at, finding what they discovered, right? So they've been studying the brain and then they looked in the universe to see where it comes from. And in the universe, they can see. So they go into the atom, atom, and there's, 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 they say the cells, there's nothing there, right? It's very small. And then behind that, like the black hole, there's something feeding it. And I'm like, yes, because what, what, if you're ding dong, if you know this, what you're tapping into, right? You know, you think source, your consciousness is coming from source. You're tapping in, people are to source, right? That is it. It's the collective. There is no separation. It's like your cells. Nothing, and this is, uh, as humanity, as consciousness rises, have you noticed? So is the things showing in the external. It's all a reflection. 
so so the dream so what scientists finding the proof of how everything's connected wow guess what's happening with humanity everyone's connected feel because this is what's feeding consciousness they'll eventually get it there is no separate consciousness is being fed out externally from yeah this is you know there is no physical yeah no, matter physical thing <laughs> <laughs> when you find what the scientists are finding, and I'm laughing, I'm like, you're not getting it, are you? <laughs> because here it's reflected to you, right? But there's something in this black hole. There's something that's feeding this to these cells. I'm like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> source, you're getting it. There's a source. There's a source. Yeah, there's a source. But it's so funny. Because if, if you watch, and same with this connectivity, it's been, it's been, it's been displayed in the collective same with why they're not understanding governments what's going on they thought they were going to get this this is going to be easy like the 80s i'll go into that later but there's so many so many similarities you can see that things of the cold war the whole russia dynamic of the of the nuclear war threat cold war thing is going through the collective again for them to examine again oh okay hmm do we make the right choice then no 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 there's no there's no separation Shutting one country out, like, oh, let's just exclude them, we'll bully them, we'll, we'll shut them off. People are not doing that anymore. They don't want that. There's unifying. Because as in science they're discovering, nothing is separate. Everything is connected, right? So if everything is connected, it's going to be reflected in your so-called reality, your so-called uh, physical reality. It's being reflected. What are humans behaving? They'll want to feel united, connected, unity. There we are. Because as science is showing, oh, with everything's connected. Yep. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's actually amusing. It's funny. When you're seeing this and you're understanding it from, and you're tapping in from the science, you can put the, you can tie them together, which they can't see because they're looking at a box. You are trained as a scientist, right? I know this. And esoteric, it's esoteric. This is what the, what the planet was. We forgot. Everything is separate. You've got boxes. I'm a specialist in this. I'm a neuroscientist. I'm a, I'm a doctor. No one knows anything about anything else. <laughs> but when you are just an observer and you understand the reflection and you're seeing, all right, I'm sure the Buddhas have tried nicely. No one will tell them. So you are watching it being reflected. You are seeing how it is reflected. As within, so without. As above, so whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just your way of, of you, the reality being reflected to you, and it's always been there. Now, like they've discovered there's no solid matter. Yep. We, everything's holographic. We'll, get, we'll grow, grasp that. There isn't any. You are not solid. We've just still got the program running in our belief that we are physical and real. It takes a while to get there. Anyway, so what I thought I'll do, we can do a little meditation. And I definitely feel very, very, there's a big, this last bit of energy that came on the planet is a real shove up. <laughs> so, <laughs> unless they see what's, unless they put this together and understand, you have to go along with consciousness because there's no going out of it because consciousness is the driving force of everything, of the universe, of the planet, of you. <laughs> there's no separation from it. So consciousness is going in this way. Uh, you better tag along or, you know, it's not going to work out too well. <laughs> then you're going to be sitting wondering, but yeah, why is my... Because you're in the old epoch and you're still trying to control and dominate and do everything. <laughs> and it's not going. And they're like, this direction they wanted to go in is not what consciousness or source has in plan. And there is only source. And as they see now, uh, anyway, yeah, oh, well, it's just fascinating. There is only source. There is nothing else. All that is. This is a part nobody's grasping. You are all source. I know it sounds strange. There's nothing else besides you. Literally. If everything was created by source, there's only source, right? And everyone, it doesn't matter what being, a so-called being, now, they'll tell you source. Right. Then you can be nothing else but source. <laughs> <laughs> and as they're seeing, like these cells, what's driving it? There's something driving it. And they're like, yes, they're feeding it. What's feeding it? The energy, the source. And that's the same thing. So this collective consciousness is going through the collective and it will drive the collective. That's it. And this is what I, I'm, I laugh at. And I say, it's good. It's going to work out for the better for everybody. 
for the case of where it comes to unity, because this is where consciousness of source wants to go, to unify again, to bring back harmony, this disharmony, and everything that's coming up in the collective world is showing where there's out of, we're out of balance with each other, with humanity, with worlds, governments, doesn't matter, where there's no balance. So at the moment, you use a lot of comparison to Margaret Thatcher's days, that whole time where they're trying to destroy the so-called socialism. You see, socialism's come up a big push again. Why? Because it's unbalanced. We went to the extreme. We got the extreme of communism, and then you got the extreme, the extreme sides. We're not talking about normal socialism, but extreme communism. And then we went to the extreme of capitalism, which was a disaster. And there's suffering. There's no balance again. Where we can have a, we can have a system that includes all, that supports all, that respects all, that loves all. This is this is what the consciousness or source wants. So this is where we're going to go. And those that you know don't want to get, they don't, they're not getting this. It's going to be a you know, they're going to get there eventually. They're like I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> just might be a bump, bump, <laughs> it's not going to work out and they're going to be scratching their heads. Why, 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 why is this not working out? Why are they not listening? Why? why? <laughs> it's very funny. We need balance. So everything that's out of harmony or balance in the world is being brought up again for us to like, oh, okay, did we, did we made the mistake? We can kind of choose again in a way. Like this Cold War, this China trying to do the same thing with China. Push them out of the picture or like a Cold War and collapse them. Cut them off, basically. So it's like they did to Russia. And then we've got the threat of the whole war thing again. For us to realize, mm, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Hi. And then this whole push from the youngsters of massive socialism, wanting to take everything in better extreme to the opposite again. We can find a middle ground and for everybody. And everyone will be happy. We need a balance. None are working. Extreme capitalism did not work. Extreme, as you see, that you can have an extreme side in some countries, it was very brutal, didn't work either, you see. <laughs> and we know this, we need to find balance. There's no excluding, because in, in, in science or in source, in, in the Maya, there is no exclusion. Now they see the entanglement theory, everything, uh, it's about yeah, harmony. Everything is connected, right? No, no particle, no being is not included in, in in creation or in the Maya, right? Everything, everything. So you cannot exclude. This is what the governments are, are sort of not, they're finding out, oh, this is not working out well, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> because you're trying to exclude one or the other. You've got to include everybody and think of everyone, kindness, love, you know what I mean? Source is all creation, all is loved. There's no, oh, well, they can just die of hunger. Oh, well, this can, you know, whatever. It's all, you know, the 1%. Or it's no, or it's exactly too much. And then forget about this lot. Let's take all the wealth away from them. No, balance, harmony. A system can be both. can have a socialistic part of it. As we noticed, it went to the extreme when we capital and stock markets. That's not a good idea. And, and the corporation laws went a bit. The corporations got out of control. And then the other side got out of control. So there's a very easy balance and humanity will just we can cruise through this we can absolutely thrive as they're saying it's a choice humanity can thrive or they can not thrive some <laughs> either way it's going there they like it or not hi 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 elizabeth yeah i i it's fascinating reflecting on this so what i feel we can do a meditation um and ask I was anyway, though, just doing a meditation, and you visualize Earth, because this is what I found interesting. This movement of, of law of attraction or manifestation, hi, is really going through the collective, right, big time. There's a reason, because people are learning. You can control the planet, or control life, or control what happens to you, or the planet, and we'll get there on a, on a mass scale. We can manifest a beautiful society. No, that's all fear. That's that's also an illusion, because you have okay. Here we are. You have no physical body, so it's a program that's running. If you have no physical body, how can an illness affect you? You see, mm. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll have no illnesses and viruses whatsoever. They won't be effect to us. If you still believe and run a program very deeply, like anything, right? That anything can affect you, it will affect you. I've learned that when I'm like, oh, this is interesting. 
Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we've got so, we, I mean, we are coming out of, this is the dark ages we're coming out of. The leaps and bounds we're going to make is unbelievable. And there's a place for everything. Same with technology. There's a, this is what's wrong here. There's a pl and this is why there's a lot of disharmony. And we're seeing going on and reaction and resistance to what's happening. Because it's always unbalanced. It's too much, you know, and not for this side. Or there's exploitation. It's always gone on. They, the system, if they want it to work, has to be inclusive of all, harmonious and fair to all. There we are. No problem. And it will be accepted by all. There's no excluding a country, a person, a class, a this, a anything. Ex inclusion, love, balance, harmony, fairness to all. This is how the, how, this is how the universe works. The, the middle point, the, or there's a discovering, uh, you know, the black hole, zero point, whatever you want to call it. The two powers of, in, say, energy, the dark, light, negative, positive energies, forces. But they cancel themselves out in the middle becomes harmonious there we are this is all energy nature seeks to do and you are particles of that exist being or whatever anyway so i just thought i will do a meditation i was just now seeing it because we can manifest the old paradigm is to sit here and watch them and watch the fighting and watch and people be an observer yes of of they're not understanding, you see. They're not tying. If you can sit back and you can see, ah, very clearly, it's a replay of, of Margaret Thatcher's times. What they tried to do then was just, go, we're going to go in there and they forget about everybody and they cause mass suffering to people because they just decided to completely just change the economy and, and pull everything out and it was a disaster. And they had massive resistance and unhappiness and we saw the 80s in, in England wasn't good. The same thing is trying to be done again without the thought. This is why it's coming up as a reflection. Oh, look there. Ah, maybe we should try and do things a bit differently. How we do it, the approach we're doing, you see. If you can see that, and it was like, then it's so interesting. It's very easy to understand and navigate it then. If you're not conscious, you're not seeing. It's like when you do shadow work, is a trigger personally. You say, ah, okay, there's something I need to work on. Ah, that's showing me. Okay, it's a message. Everything's a message. On the global scale, because our leaders are not connected and not conscious, as you want to say, not in a higher level of consciousness, they're in the ego. They're not seeing this, that everything is a mirror. This is reality. Everything is showing you how it exists. So our politicians and governments are not seeing, ah, the reflection. Because then they would easily be able to say, okay, yeah, all right. It's a matter of compromise, too. <laughs> Fairness, you know what I mean? Greed, ego, the ego is greed, yeah, anyway, there we are, wow. So it's very interesting to watch. It's only coming up again, if something humanity didn't get right, they need to look at, they need to, from a higher perspective or change, this is why it's coming around again in the human experience, to like, oh, okay, as society, do, do we want this? No, no, do we want a cold war? No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't want that anymore. We don't want to behave like that, okay. Do we want a war? No. <laughs> do we want, you know, this, this uh, not caring about you and let's just come in there and, and annihilate, you know, the poverty or cause mass poverty or whatever, let the, you know, whatever, suffering and, you know, we're going to change this and it's, good for the 1% and or whatever, or for our businesses, and that's it, you know, and if you suck it up, li like it or lump it, this is the attitude of the old epoch, but it's not, yeah, they're not getting this, they're not, under they're not seeing, they're not understanding, this is why they're sitting back and scratching their heads and not understanding why it's not working, or what's going on, what's going on with these people, you know, where's this coming from, we can we can just wish it away. Ooh, no. <laughs> it's being reflected to you in science. It's being reflected to you in many ways. And if you can, if you pay attention, and as humans, watch what's happening on the planet. They're probably like scratching their heads. Oh no no no! You know, this is some movement. It'll it'll go away. You know, no, no, not. <laughs> and manifestation. So we will learn now to focus and not sit there and just watch it, to focus on what we want, to visualize it, like like Dr. Joe Dispenza's teaching, but he's showing it, people are, 
and again putting things in boxes thinking okay Joe Dispenza does this so you can shows you you can you can med focus on something intention meditate like put the energy for 30 days because you and it manifests what you cure your illness you cure your cancer you're doing whatever right but this same other manifestations like Abraham Hicks and other people teach keep doing it keep visualizing it seeing it becoming that what happens oh there's your car oh there's your job these things it's, I mean millions of people are experiencing it they're manifesting same with the planet if for 30 days a million of us sat around the world and visualized this magnificent beautiful abundant tropical planet because this is a hologram we are creating it but because we've got in such an entrenched program and deep running program that it's, it's solid and nothing's changeable and everything's matter we are <laughs> having fun <laughs> Because we just, well, we're just happening and this is just there and we can't do anything about it, you see. No, your consciousness is part of it. You're affecting even what's happening on the planet. Your energy is part of it. It's not happening to us. Nothing ever does. Because you are source. I know it's very, it's, it's, wow. Just trying to, you know. But a million of us got together and we could very such a, and we could absolutely visualize a beautiful planet, which I was doing today. And this, and I actually, I did see this. And I, I think I saw it in a meditation a while ago. I saw all these humans connected by the heart. Yes, I did. Actually, I, I, I received this. I don't know when it was. Go back one of my YouTube videos. You'll see a while ago. I saw all these humans connected. But this is what's happening. Energy. It's going through the heart. So this unifying unity of feeling of they want to be together and joy and love and nice, this is going to spread. It's not stopping. As much as they could wish it away all they want, do whatever they want, it's not going to stop. <laughs> it's happening. So we're going to have a, rev a love revolution. Can't wait. So nice of joy and just you know, just wanting to be together and love each other. This this love this is going to is going to go through the planet lovely i can't wait that's so fantastic so i'm so excited about this year waiting for everyone to come through their upgrades or their because we're going through big purge people some people are going through the big purge we're going through upgrades and uh as i say shifts in con big shifts in consciousness in integrations all this sort of stuff a lot of us so when these integrations are finished i can't wait to get back again into the lives and you know we're going to have lots of co-creation with other content people we're going to make lives we're going to we're going to spread a love uh, a love fest a love virus through this planet i am so excited i'm so looking forward to this it's such a feeling of connectivity of yeah of oneness it is that feeling is going to be solidified of oneness you really are absolutely i mean on that level, you absolutely are. Even if you, even if you don't want to be, you don't really. You are. You like it or not, there's no getting away. You are. Science will tell you there's not one particle of an atom that's different to any other atom in existence. Energy, you know, the energy is energy. It's the same. It's made up right throughout the universe. But I'm just finding it so interesting because because we've so this is an old epoch we compartmentalized everything. I was a specialist. I'm a specialist in that. I'm a psychologist in this, and I'm so of course you know nothing because <laughs> you're not seeing the whole picture. We never now everything is going to be about whole systems. Watch whole health because it's this is a new epoch because we it, as within so that it's going it's there's no other thing. So now we're going to look at things as a whole, humanity as a whole health as a whole system not the heart i'm a heart specialist and no the hearts are connected and it's got nothing to do with that and energy and this and no everything's connected if it's out of harmony you know this is this harmony anyway there we are bloody awesome <laughs> but just to observe us and when you realize ah this is why this cold war thing is playing out ah this is why this nuclear thing is coming up again because humanity needs to relook at that from a higher perspective because it was showing you where you did it didn't work look at your repeat and then you can see where you were out of balance oh okay yes we didn't do that same with Thatcher's thing it was completely out of balance let's destroy socialism or so-called the social system completely and let's just go Wall Street on stilts and it, it wouldn't work out well no no it didn't really 
and much, and we caused much suffering on the planet, you know, in all aspects. It was all about money and greed and profit, and we caused suffering to people. Wages, yeah, you know, labor. We exploited the yeah, the planet. We we just yes, it was consumerism and greed and yeah, ego on stilts. Well, it was the last last of the ego, the end of the epoch, you know. The ego went to the extreme. It's actually interesting. I looked. If you look at it, have a look and you'll reflect on it. I'm reflecting. It's so amazing to think about this. And look at what happened. We had debauchery. We had the extreme of everything. Like, I mean, people running around, selfies. The ego was at its highest peak. The teeniest mini skirts, the smallest g strings, all about what I look like, money, my flashiest car, my car, gold car with diamonds on, you know. <laughs> Everything. I mean, it went to town. <laughs> it went, it was ego, like, okay, and now I'm going to play material, I'm going to go, go, go for the gold. The biggest boat I can have, I mean, it was like a, you know, let's show, let's, oh, wow, 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 wow. Well. Grab, greed, it was complete drugs, rock and roll, debauchery, I mean, insanity, actually. Self-destructive, the ego. So I suppose at the end of the epoch, it would make sense. It went into self-destruct mode. Well, wow, big time. Anyway, thank goodness we're leaving that one behind now. We've all we have. Yeah, the big changes, isn't it? Yes. Food changed a big thing for me. Wow, my diet, oh my goodness, has changed so much. And even now, and I, I really battled because I was not following it, I was cheating too much, it is not tolerant. And, and I, it likes fruit and vegetables. This is not everybody, it depends where you are. A very light food. Once a day, eat once a day, smaller meals, light. Very stuff that's very easy to digest on the system. So for me, I can have fruit and vegetables. I eat once a day. I drink morning. I drink smoothie, you know, juice and things, and then have a afternoon meal, which is very light. And my stomach is so happy that I'm. You know, it's not interested in. It's just not digesting things like meat. Any of the heavier things, meat, you know, dairy is. But that was me, and it was a no, no. Any of that stuff it was just well. Had so many shifts. Coffee. Um, lots, huge shifts in your diet. Wow, big time, big time. You are obviously, and you're going very healthy, very light, very clean. No, no chemicals, no anything, pure. But that's everybody, you know, on this thing. You're pushing away from all forms of chemicals and everything, you know. Anyway. Anyway, it is what it is, but it is fascinating. I mean, I'm watching, I'm drawn to the science now at the moment, and I'm finding it so amusing when I listen to them. And then you and your third eye are experiencing this, so you understand what they're not seeing. So in your third eye, you can, how it tallies up, you know, how, what it is, what they, you know, <laughs> what science is from it. They're only seeing it from a scientific point of view, but you have gone through it from an internal point of view, You've navigated the black hole, and you knew what the black hole was anyway. And you were telling him, "No, there's no, 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 there's not. You're not going to disappear, and it's quite safe. You're going to pop out. Actually, this is this is just one universe. <laughs> there's other ones on the other side of that, and the galaxies or whatever. So it it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Oh, amazing. And then also now to see what's happening with, it. like I said, all these things that are playing out in that movement as well. There was a big oppression of. Um, uh, gave of anything, you know, like rights. Ooh, they were like, wow, no. So it's not. So then it was given, okay, and it went to the extreme. So it's, yeah, it's just everything's shown. We we've gone off course, and we it's gone to the extreme. It's like, well, okay, you people need to look at this again. Bring it back to balance, harmony with all. It cannot be too much on one side or too much on the other. Too right, too left, too good, too bad, too whatever, any of that. You know what I mean? It's got to include all. Because that's how the universe works. It's all inclusive. <laughs> Equal. And this is, yeah. Anyway. Hi, Steve. How are you? Uh, how are you playing tonight? I like watching some of the music. Love. I'm sitting at home having a chill night because I didn't sleep much in the last two nights whatsoever. 
massive integrations or if you want to say uploads downloads massive downloads wow so i was awake i mean there's just no sleeping so this morning i got up had two oranges and at nine and then i was like i can't i just i need to sleep i went back to bed i slept till about one o'clock <laughs> very late day so i was like no i just i just just need to rest and there's so much we've accumulated we've assimilated a huge um, photonic or CME's light energy came into the planet. And this is what that big last, I think it was the 28th, 29th, that started coming in. Wow. Whew. So there was a big, and this is what caused that also bit of weather issues we had after Christmas. And this is what it, um, we're busy integrating. Big, what we want to okay, upgrades, uploads, huge, a big. So that amount of light caused a huge shift planetary and consciousness wise. Big time. Amazing, actually. So, so much is coming through. And it takes a while, I'm quiet, because I'm still trying to, some of the stuff you like, wow, and it's easy, just assimilate, you can, and other stuff now, you've got to figure out where you've got to iron out the, as people know, like any purging, if you want to say purging, right, you've got to find out where, you, where you've got to, oh, okay, I haven't, I haven't, I've got to release that, or iron out the kinks, or, or whatever. Um, so this is what I was going, busy going through now, is trying to figure out what I need to, some is like, wow, it's easy. You get it. I mean, I do. I get what's coming through to me. Absolutely. But then there's still stuff, there's still resistance to from the ego or something, which you need to release. So you're like, okay, you know, wow, that's a big step, right? Or you're so, wow, this is so amazing. I mean, you know, it, it's like so amazing, but it's also so, it's such a big shift in consciousness that your ego is like, it, it takes a while for your ego to assimilate or, you know, let go of its comfy blanket in a way. <laughs> because, I mean, these are huge jumps in like, wow. So some stuff, come, I mean, I sat, let's say, I, I lay awake last night for, I mean, ah, uh, well. You, you are so ecstatic because you see the absolute or the truth of reality or existence. And it's like so... There aren't words. There aren't words you can actually put into expressing it. There aren't. It's just like, wow, 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 awesome, wow. Yeah. When do we move into what? We already are. It, it's, it depends on some people. Some people are slower, you know, on their, on their um, journey. Depends on where they are on their journey. We absolutely. Now, this love revolution is going to start now. It's going to sweep through humanity. Like anything. It's like the way, or you, if you want to call the Ascension Awakening, it started, like, what well, you want to say, like, we started and then it started and then it really, it, it, it took off on, on a mass scale recent, I'd say by 2020. So you got forerunners, some of the people, yeah. But it will be guided. So this is what I say. It doesn't matter what they're trying to do. And I feel, I feel sorry for them as well because they don't understand. It's just lack of understanding. So they're trying to control. This is a normal habit of an ego is to, and a government. You've got to control. They try, they're always trying to control everything. It's ego. It's fear. Trying to control the movement. Trying to control the direction of people. Trying to control everything. You know, whatever. In some way. It's just grasping. It's fear. It's grasping. <laughs> and, but this is a new epoch and it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work like that. So it's just because they don't understand. What you don't understand or what you don't see or, what, or, or fear. It's like anyway, the ego, it's fear. It's just fear. So you've got to have also for them shame, you know. There's, it's not, they, they can't this time, you see. Because it is driving, it's a driving force of the universe. It's driving everything. As I told people, there's no stopping what's going to come. And people can't understand that. They're like, oh yeah, we can. Or, uh, so the governments are going to pull out all stops and propaganda and do whatever they want and do whatever this one, that one. Everyone's trying to somehow do, but no, it doesn't work like that. Because a science is showing you there's something feeding all of that. Mm, yes. That energy that feeds the consciousness of everything. Everything's conscious. The universe, right? The universe, you. You all, there's no separate. You can't take yourself out of it. It is. Now you're welcome. It is amazing. So, 
it's going into a unified happy way if you are like it or not this is it you know and this is why it's being reflected in what they is science this latest scientific test or you know quantum theories and things they're discovering it's like i'm laughing when they're pulling them up i'm like yes okay yes because it verifies exactly what you know what you're seeing what you're feeling because everything is a reflection your dreams are a perfect reflection you are source dreaming it's a best explanation for anyone I understand you're having the dream right you're the dreamer and like you know when you go to sleep so it's your dream and you can do this and that in your dream and you wake up whatever else but you don't get attached to the the, the characters in your dream because you know it's your dream it's a Maya it's not real and this is the same thing of actual existence you are the creator literally creating this is your dream you are streaming everything all of this this is not the nothing is real nothing is physical it's a literally a reflection of your dream yes yeah that's i don't know the energy is it's clearing through the energy is going through it's, it's clearing through the collective big time big big time Anyway, so let me let's do a meditation. I thought I did one earlier, and it was so nice. I did one and visualize, and you can see Earth up there and visualize this perfect planet. I mean, yesterday, there's not a happy drug that you could have given anyone that could have put me put you on the same buzz that I had yesterday, on the last day or so when this stuff comes through to me, and you're lying in bed and it's like, wow, because the knowing, the feeling, my, every cell in my body was having a party. <laughs> was like in ecstasy <laughs> every cell knowing it's true because they're all conscious now even science will tell you that right so every cell because you think it's physical there's no physical this is source streaming now you've come to the cognition say the captain of the boat that hey the boat and the whole boat knows it is source and everything around it is you everything is you there's no other than you and it's like my gosh you love everything then because it's your creation you are creating it so no matter what this is what i say this is what's happening in the world no matter that little speck what it looks like it's perfect this is the weirdest thing ever everything is perfect if the planet every person you see the person all things are absolutely perfect doesn't matter what they're doing, representing, look like, you know, whatever, because you are creating, you love them all. It's like your children. It's like you are loving, you love everything in existence. But that's the universe, it's true, because it's created by you, everything. So you love them all. They're all it's just perfect. They're, as they are, everything is perfect. The planet is perfect, all this, it, everything is perfect. And coming to that being that realization oh my goodness me wow it's it's a drug a high like i have not felt it yeah, was amazing so amazing such an incredible feeling of one i don't even know there's no words for it yes i am talking about freedom we all you've always been free that's what I'm saying. When you understand the truth of reality, you will laugh. <laughs> like me, you're not going to be able to sleep either. You are going to be laughing and laughing. But it takes a while to assimilate it. People, everyone, everyone is going to get there in this Maya. All beings, people are going to get there in this Maya. Literally. And when you do, it's going to be like, holy, wow, amazing. When you realize the truth of all existence, you're going to be absolutely in such awe, in such love, in such... I can't even begin to describe to you, you know, the, you're all going to go through that. Because this is part of the dream, the plan. You're all going to achieve, understand the oneness with creation, with, with God, source, whatever. Yeah. It is worth waiting for. Not that you wait anyway. It's, it's time, but yeah, it is amazing. And you've always been free. 
nothing can ever happen to that if you want to say believe your your consciousness your soul your whatever now it's just part of a dream in your dream in the mind you can believe it and think it yes yeah, so you're tired because of this big surge it came in huge surge it's probably what caused that tear and that storm in buffalo a big surge of energy came in again after christmas we had some new and we've had lots of big energies coming in for a bit yes exactly positive is because it's lovely energy it's higher so it's pushed up that but it will you're going to feel tired oh it's everything is so wonderful it is so wonderful it is so perfect nothing can ever happen to you you are absolutely <laughs> it's so <laughs> when you figure when you realize it you're going to be like oh my gosh that I'm saying the love the happiness the ecstasy the thing you you feel is, is just beyond anything I can begin to tell you if suddenly my body was having a party and I was just wanted to love everybody everything you want to kiss even the particles you know if, if you were if you were physical everything was physical you would kiss every little atom and particle and being and I wanted to just love everything every little thing can you can, can every little you know being sand this and that is you know you want to love it all. It's so funny. It's so funny. And then you're like, oh, that's what I'm saying. The amount of energy that came through, there's no way you can sleep. It's like, just not happening. <laughs> just not happening. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so, so amazing. And you understand all, and you understand why. You understand everything. Why all of this happens. Why it's why you even created what it is. Everything. <laughs> and it's perfect you know what I mean uh, oh wow just too awesome too, too awesome for words so let's get the ego out of the way and let's see what we can come through let's less you know filter we don't want filter the most important thing is just keep trying to do away with more filter than possible so a real a message you know can come through so I'd like to do that I prefer to do that um, Got to pick up the energies again, uh, and especially with this. So let's try, see what messages come through for humanity. Let's see. And I'm not going to try and dictate because normally I'm like, don't show me any bad things. <laughs> like last time, I was like, because I kept, you know, I, I just do this sometimes, and next minute I'd be shown hurricanes and earthquakes, and I'm like, oh no. And then I started dreading. I stopped doing meditations, especially live meditations. I was like, I'm not doing live meditations because I was always wor worried about what was going to come through. And then just now it wasn't something, you know, happy, happy. But I'm just going to leave it, you know what I mean? Even now, I, sorry, but now when I did that, I was like, <gasps> I had a minute of hesitation after last time because when I was doing that live and then I saw what was going to happen in Florida and I was like, mm, you know, and when they started showing me, I was like, no, 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 we don't want to do that. I was trying to resist what source was, sh was showing me and you're trying to control things again you see i was trying to control no 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 i don't want i don't want that you know well, i only want this but that just is so i have that it's good for me to work through that resistance and fear of doing live meditations because you don't know what's going to come out you know you're like no we don't want to do that the, yeah anyway so it'd be good for me to get that out of my system because immediately then people are like oh, you know but um, it's not intentional. And whatever comes through, it comes through and you're just allowing. You're just the vessel. It's not like you are choosing it. You have no clue what's going to come through. I'm just, it just comes through. So for the highest and greatest good, let's see what comes through, if anything. You know? Firstly, I, I just want to do a meditation anyway for, for the planet, for everybody. Visualize. Hi. Yeah, it's not, it's not us. It comes to source, is what I'm saying. It's not like an interview with high vibration. I was high vibration. I had no clue, you know, but this happened to me. You completely, no, you just relax and you just close your eyes and bang, you know, there we are. This is there or that message or whatever. I've seen all kinds. Well, it doesn't even begin to say. So let's do it. I'm going to do a meditation like I did to visualize this perfect earth because that's what people want. And we're going to see everybody together happy. We're going to... 
visualize if you can or pray if you want to do it at the same time you can close your eyes do the prayer but to see the planet as perfect absolutely we're living on the most perfect planet beautiful immaculate lush green you know whatever planet and absolutely a joyful you can even feel it and see it all people living on the planet are absolutely they enjoy they they know they're happy they're connected there's this love and caring there's this feeling in like a big family there we are it's like humanity becomes like a big family all right so let's do a bit of that just to set the new year i was doing it anywhere and we did i think this is what i'm saying can you imagine if a million people did this every day a visualization even for five minutes of this perfect planet and, and earth they'd have it this is how easy it is, but we just don't realize it. Anyway, they'll get there. We're going to, we're going to, wow. The leaps and bounds we're going to make are just, I mean, it's unbelievable how this is really the dark ages. I mean, this is like prehistoric times we are leaving. It's hilarious, actually. When you see where we're going, it's like, holy, the leaps and bounds, it's just not even comparable, actually. How, you know, when we, take off when we grasp this we're gonna that's it we're limitless humanity's limitless this is like bottom drawer stuff we're playing in now you know it's like totally bottom drawer all right people i'm gonna close eyes here yeah. yeah you can join me in, a, in the wishes close eyes to visualize beautiful planet as we live this perfect planet we and a perfect happy whole the united humanity all right get comfortable and let's see if we get any if we don't we don't doesn't matter we do we do okay let's see what comes through on the meditation or what i what i see funny i saw this just now as well you see earth but then you see this like dark layer of earth like a like i suppose you would see your ego shape this what people don't realize you have you is a veil like a layer of energy over you which is cloaking you from the real you the same with gaia and so what i saw was like this big dark mess moving off from gaia like dropping away like falling down so if you can imagine a layer of Gaia or a veil of Gaia or a shadow of Gaia, this dark, dense energy, this big round ball just poof, like is, is falling off Gaia, off the planet, right? So the planet is shedding. So this, like we are, we're going to a big purge and clear. So possibly this is what's happening on the cycle, with the cycle, the cleansing of the weather, whatever's going on at the moment. 
and through, you know, is that this big mess of, of energy is being shifted or cleared or cleansed like a layer is coming off. And you saw this, then you saw this very bright earth. So you can imagine earth like we saw is absolutely, we saw this in 2020 actually, when this vision came to us that this light was going to come into the planet. We, I didn't know what it, what it meant when I saw this bright white light coming in, photonic light and going through people and everything and penetrating. Now we knew what it was. This is for changing the physical. Con the, the, the other one went into the planet. This crystalline light went into the planet, penetrated into Earth. That's the grid, or where they want to say the Akashic Records, the crystalline grid, the energy grid of the Earth that was also being cleansed. So it's like your cash being changed, same thing. So now it makes sense of why, what those things meant that I saw happening. Now, what you see is Gaia, this beautiful ball of, of the planet, but it's shining like it's surrounded in this, in this white light. It's like, wow. So there's so much light. She's like completely in a ball. It's like, you know, people do energy. They put the shield around them of white light or shield of, of energy or light. This is what you basically, is basically what looks like Gaia is in. She's, um, which now we know is the sun, this photonic light, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's see. So that layer is being moved off Gaia, that energy, which is like the old epoch, which is like us, I see, we see in us, which is being moved off. It's like layers of the ego. It looks like a, looks like a piece of clothing coming off you. You're shedding your skin. Now this is what's happening with the planet. Hmm. Um. This is what I'm seeing, and this is what's being pulled off the planet, almost. Interesting. Mm, I don't know when it's going to end. Let's see. It's like a interesting. There's this mess. I feel, say, like if you the, the Earth's sphere, like there's a feels like there's some. This is so strange, you know. Like in your body, when you're doing clearing, you find this dark mess, so you need to move out, like store dark energy, right? But this is not dark energy. This is strange, kind of. This is, this is really strange. So there's like, hmm, maybe it's Antarctica, the South Pole or North Pole. There's this mass, like a lump, this is a section which is dark, which is like, not black dark, but like this dark blue, like a very deep blue, like cold. There's heavy, there's solid, there's something there. There's something there which is which is seems to be like the, not the controlling the balance the energy which is which is doing this which is holding this say like earth here the, the weight the thing that's holding earth here or keeping her here whatever it is, is like anchoring it 
It's like this dark blue mess here. I can, well, there we are. Maybe it's what I'm saying, like a magnet I wanted to say, right? So maybe it is. There's the magnetic force of there. There we are. That's it coming now. <laughs> the magne magnetic force or the magnetic um, control, the magnetic whatever it is. Here. It's here. There's some um, concentration of this energy or mass here. And it's moving, yeah. But it's not moving far. It's like a vortex of magnetic. It does shift a bit. Like it moves off a bit, it's round, which is which is strange about this because it's blue. It's kind of like dark blue, cold, like icy, I suppose. But it's not. It's like it, it's not solid or liquid. I can't explain this. How do I? Do? This is what I'm feeling. It's very bizarre, very strange. What I'm seeing or feeling is like a energy of a sort which is accumulating here on the planet somewhere. Yes, it is, it's a mess, but it's, the mess is moving. So maybe, as I say, this is what's happening. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a scientist and I don't even begin to. I just tell you what comes to me. There is this, which once was a solid. So there we are, it's loosening up. So what we had was a solid, it felt like this heavy weight, like an anchor almost. So there was earth anchored to this poof whatever it was, whether it's on the South Pole, North Pole, I don't know what it was, right? And now it's more fluid. And it's loosening up and moving. It has more uh, fluidity to it. There we are. So if we want to call that our magnetic field, if you want to call it our gravity, I don't know what the heck it is. And now it's moving back into no, going around the planet. <laughs> uh, it's energy going around the planet and around the planet. got something to do with the magnetic field. Yeah. Now it's going the other way. But in a circular kind of motion. And then it's going down again, back. It, go, it went, oh, this is so strange anyway. And now it's being pulled back down like a gravity. There's something pulling it, like a gravitational force, which is pulling it down like this black hole. So like this energy, this whatever it is I'm saying, and I can't even begin to tell you what's interesting, bizarre. It gets pulled down like there's this black, and it's like invisible, you can't see it, black force, which pulled it down. Like you would see a black hole, right? There we are. And then it's lighter, the planet settles again, it forms a balance. But it's not as, it's not so, this is so bizarre. So all this moving and changing of whatever this was, this energy that was very stuck and solid, the earth magnetic field, the gravity, whatever it was we had on the planet, right? 
it's lighter now. It dissipates, it moves, it does this change and it goes back, gets pulled down like a... And now it's the mess is not as much there. So what was... This is so bizarre. <laughs> so if you see Earth now or the planet, this mess, this... This... What before was shown as a big blue, heavy, very solid, very heavy mass. You know, that was there, whatever it was, I don't know, South Pole, North Pole, this energy, magnetic, whatever it was, I don't know, what the heck, some kind of energy, gravity, something, right? Now, after what I showed you, it went there, it dissipated, it spread, it moved around the planet, it went the other way and it came back and it settled now down here, wherever that is, but we, don't ask me, part of the planet it is, it's, so it settles again, but it isn't this big mess like it was before. So Earth is much, it feels more balanced, more calm, much lighter. So whether it's the gravity, whether it's in a, say, the magnetic field, something, it feels the planet is, hasn't got this heaviness about it. It feels lighter balanced harmony it just feels like it's put back in balance harmony yeah and funny i saw that i saw this going way way back in time when the ets came here they set up like a field to 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 keep balance keep the energies on the planet balanced maybe that's got all i don't know there was there was things set up they're not visible they were like looked like spaceships they were like these spheres they were all around the planet which they did and they came back to put them they were out of balance they came back to restore the balance to the planet like now this is what they came to do they were, these things were activated so that if you want to call them time capsules whatever they were these spheres that i saw in this meditation back then they were activated now to bring the planet back into balance but this magnetic field thing now, shift, whatever, I saw this strange liquid stuff, brings the planet back into balance, but it hasn't got this big dark mass like it had at the bottom. So the energy is more evenly distributed now throughout the planet, and the planet feels... Hmm lighter yeah very bizarre <laughs> very bizarre hell this is bizarre yeah i see some bizarre things no it's not darkness nothing to do with darkness um there's no such thing all the source it's just energy balance the balance is balancing of energy so Humanity is getting a different planet with different energy on it. Yeah. So you have now a new planet, basically, yeah. With new energy, it's a whole new... It'll have new, which you're experiencing. You are basically got a new planet with new energy. It's much lighter. Wow, and it's much lighter. I mean, it looks lighter. Seeing the light, the photonic light, that's in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere, if you want to call whatever, who knows, I'm a scientist, people, is a lighter. And now I don't understand, because I, I don't know what that meant, but it's kind of like a gravity force, whatever it was, is lighter. And it's like the energy is more evenly distributed on the planet now. So maybe there was like an energy block. The energy wasn't moving. Like, you know, it's energy moves in a spiral. If you see, if you look at it, even pay attention to observation, right? So maybe there was something like a block, like people had, which was not living the energy. The energy wasn't flowing freely or moving freely. So it became blocked. It became out of disharmony, balance. Maybe. All I can say. 
I don't know what that was about, but it's something to do with a mess. So maybe it was to do with Antarctica or something there, somewhere where there was, a, it all messed in one place, like it was like dense, accumulated, it all accumulated like a, looked like a lead weight in a part of the planet. So whether it was Antarctica, the North South Pole, I don't have a freaking clue. Something like the South Pole or something, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm. It's like a gift to humanity. You have this bright, shiny, it feels good, energy, future, happiness, this, yeah, everything's lighter. It's like you're getting a new world. And all I'm getting is no fear. Don't fear. Don't fear anything that's happening. Don't fear the change. Hmm. hmm. It's all going to be good. Very interesting. That was really strange. That's why I say, I never know what I'm going to see. And that's why I normally don't do these things. Because I always get something to do with, not always, but pretty much all the time, get something to do with Earth. And I don't know why. So if there's something going to happen on the planet, if it's going to affect the planet, the weather, the volcanoes, the this, the that, I get those. And I don't know why. And this, I have no clue what it is. Strange. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> but it was interesting because a long time ago I saw um, the meditation, I don't know, maybe about, I think in 2020, I saw these beings. So our family from other galaxies had set up something on the planet for a reason. Had set up this, uh, not for a negative reason, but had set up uh, like an energy, like a, energy, atmosphere, dome, something around the planet to keep things, you know, in balance, whatever. So this is why they say if you tap in, people are trying to find, I find it so funny. Scientists are going around trying to find out like half these things, what these sacred sites are connected to. But if you ask them, they'll tell you. Just ask the stones, they'll tell you. Or Ryan, like Stonehenge, I asked them and the stones told me, Orion. Oh, okay, that was easy. <laughs> Instead of trying to guess. But what they did then, there was, a, there was a fight. We all know there was galactic battles in people that have been in history. You know, there's no such thing as past, present, future, but other experiences, there's galactic, but there were galactic battles going on in this Maya game, right? Not that there's anything happening in real life, but anyway, it, it, there's none of this. But there was in this Maya, there's, these beings are having a, a, a fight. They had set up spheres if you want to call them the Palladians or whatever you want to call them, had put these spheres around the planet. So it looked like spaceships um, around, uh, I described them in, in the meditation. Didn't know what they were, but I knew there was something to do with the balance. And this is what, and they, but some had been messed with. Some had been put out of balance. So some of them had been fiddled with or locked or interfered with somehow. So it put the energy field completely off on the planet. Maybe this was the Atlanteans, 12,000, 10,000. I don't know what happened here. You know, the loose fall, the who knows, fine, nonsense. But some had been tinkered with. by the. There was a battle, some other beings. So there was a bit of a fight with other beings. They had a fight. 
whatever happened. And this is what it was. And they were trying to uh, fix these things. And it looks like a, they look, a sphere shaped. Um, like some, like they saw under Uluru. Like it was supposedly under Uluru. We thought it was a ship. It wasn't a ship. These were all around the planet. I saw many other places. So they are not in our dimension. The reason why we couldn't see them physically. And we can't see them. Because they're not, they weren't in our dimension, they weren't on our frequency and vibration. They're in a much higher frequency and vibration. So with a normal vision, we weren't aware that they were there. Maybe they were done, we were in a higher frequency, we know that anyway. We dropped, in, everyone knows that, Atlantis. We dropped in from a consciousness into a lower consciousness. This whole epoch is very low, the lowest you can go. So during this whole thing, this happened. And, this is, and these were out of balance. And they came back to try and... and, and you know, get these away that had been messed with to put them back to bring this balance so that earth would be in a safe, balanced energy again. Whatever, but this I can't tell you. It was something to do with it was strange, but then what I got a feeling, as you know, was it wasn't solid, it wasn't, it's not liquid or not solid. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so, very, very bizarre. And Earth's magnetic field definitely got something to do with Earth's magnetic field. Whether and it's, if it's something to do with gravity or magnetics, I'm not sure. But gravity, I don't know, people. Even that we know. We we thought we knew our science were what things were there. No, anyway, I don't know. And Buddhists can show you that you can defy gravity. So what we thought gravity was is not really what it is. I don't think. <laughs> don't know. Anyway, there we are. This is probably one of the reasons why I don't do um, live meditations too much because I'm like, you know, I'll get the resistance going down because of this. I'm like, yeah, you don't know what you're going to get. So, you know, so I had I'd built up this like, uh, my ego, I should say, had built up resistance and almost like fear to doing it because, You know, you didn't, you didn't want, you don't know what's going to come through. You didn't want people to tell them, oh my gosh, there's going to be a nasty earthquake and, you know, bad news. I didn't want to be the bearer. This is the ego of bad news. You see. So I was like, I had put a block up to it. To doing, um, purposely asking, just for whatever, you know, show me whatever you want to show me thing. It was like, no, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> anyway, there we are. That was just something, it's my stuff I've got to work through. Yeah. Um, yeah, big change, big shift is going on, major shift is going on. What's been happening for you? And I explained this, this started in October. So depending on where you are, and if you figured out what you have to work through. So anything in this Maya, that you experience as a being that you didn't learn, work through, you need to relook at, is coming up in your experience. So if you feel like you're going, you've gone back in time and your, your shit's all coming up again, or you're reliving the past, or you've gone back to the lowest of your, why are you behaving or feeling that way again? It's because of this, you see? That's all. Yeah, age okay. It's because of this, and you've just got to identify what you need to let go of. And literally, if you look at my video, <laughs> On YouTube, which I did, I don't know, then two months or something ago, everything, literally. To move into this new epoch, we had to literally release everything. Like, surrender that ego on any level. But it's, it, it's not like I, I try, we try and do, we try and jump the easy route. It's like, okay, I'll just give it all up. Come on now, you know, where we are. But it seems to be, so if you have, because energy is energy, can't disappear. So whatever you clung to in the past, you didn't let go of, you were fighting your experiences, that energy is there. So it's like having to figure out every little bit of energy. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to release that. Oh, okay, sorry, that thing, all that, that oh, no, 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 shit. And like some of us, it can manifest physically, and wow, really nasty physical manifestations. And I've had two of those. I mean, mine manifested physically, wow. Uh, and you can really think she's, you know, and I can imagine a lot of people have. They didn't understand because we took everything as physical. So you go to the doctor, oh, you've got cancer, you've got this and that. It's actually just energy. We understood, first of all, that we're not physical in the first place. You can just poof, all right, you've got to understand that's only energy. It's accumulated so much 
that you haven't let go of that who knows you know generations lifetimes whatever's clucked in there of all the things as a consciousness that you did not let flow through so if you were angry if you were frightened if you were whatever and you resisted or ref you know any reaction that's it because you're supposed to just not react so you just accept all because in, in universe everything is part of the universe you can't reject any part of yourself because it's you so there's no in the universe game there's no rejection or you know clinging letting go accepting i don't want i do want no 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 you just like the buddhists say just accept it just let it, it passes through but as humans no, no, no we don't want that we don't want change i don't want you to, i don't want to i don't want a divorce i don't you know so it's all this clinging and, and resisting and grief hurt whatever nonsense you know emotions blocks fear traumas that energy just builds and it's here and it's there and it's uh, yeah it has been challenging yes 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 very yes you see this is what I did and in my consciousness it was like same with me that little thing came up to my consciousness to say oh I think it's this that C word and I was like no we're not doing that because I you know everything you create in your but so I thought no 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 we are not playing that we're not manifesting that it's freaking not you know this body's not physical you can heal anything and you know you have power like Dr. Bruce Lipton says over you you can talk to your, your Nate so mine manifested it looked like that and I was like, no, we are not playing that game. We are not going down that road. And I was determined that it was... Uh, basically, I've just, I went to the hospital yesterday, actually, for blood tests. Only eventually get booked. See, you know, you can't see a little pinprick there. So, because I had... It manifested in my stomach. Oh, it was really not good. It built up and it was... I was having problems and pains and blocked for a couple of months. It was building up, building up. But because I had experienced something like this in the last big clearing where it was also bad in other people and I, and I nearly went to the doctor thinking oh my gosh but if you sit and ask source and I did and you sat and you have trust and it, it cleared for me so I sat there in meditations and the energy just came in and it was just clearing I was it was working through different layers and organs the lower chakra this the whole digestive system and stuff. wow the stuff that came out was unbelievable so a past life regression go for a few sessions but just to get it going and you will see that cancer is only energy now science is showing you it is amazing you see what came out my, my digestive system so when i went to the doctor eventually i got the appointment i mean i was losing even my feeling in my legs i was losing feeling in my um i was like perfectly fine because it would take six to seven days and i'd done all these meditations <laughs> big massive clearings and eating only fruit and vegetables because my stomach just wasn't you know it couldn't it wasn't even digesting stuff so you know and very light like i was really being good and he couldn't find anything he's feeling as oh don't, don't i said yes well because i've done i said you know i told him go, go follow joe dispenser so the doctor's probably going to have a new person to follow now too he was like i said no i've been doing healing on it he's like what do you mean i said i've been doing you know I said, it's scientifically backed. You can find Joe Dispenser online and scientists follow him around and you can learn. So he said, hey, what's that man's name? <laughs> so I had tests. I had to have, you know, samples taken and the blood tests, because I booked them, were done yesterday. So let's see. He was like, hey, let's just check for this and that. And I, But if I had to sit there and tell the doctor, oh, by the way, this came out and that came out, he'd think you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> my this and that trauma and that life and you know <laughs> this energy I was just pulling balls of it out I mean what came out of my my digestive system was wow wow and stuff I didn't even know about thank goodness if it wasn't for Michelle and then Jill doing that regression I described I wouldn't it, that started the ball rolling and since then I've been working on organs actually and then you specifically go and ask for help and you start working on my as working on organs so then it was, you know, working in different organs, trying to, you know, all of it. And if you sit there and you ask and you help, the stuff that has gone, come out of this body has been mind-blowing. So that C word is purely energy. Science, they're showing you now, right? Yep, bells. You go look at your atom. At the center, they know each molecule, is, they're going more and more and more and more. There's nothing. It's hollow. It's like, it's like a black hole. 
There's nothing there because it's multidimensional. Bruce, Dr. Joe Spencer proves it, but you've got to not doubt and you've got to stick with it. So you might be tested for a couple of days and you might, they might try like anything, any on this path you'll know when you're in resistance, right? When you're trying to hit like a new, new level, like a spiritual test, if you want to say, you're going to be whacked. It's going to play up its worst. And that's why the ego, the ego will chuck everything out to throw you off. And then you see if you'll give up or get fearful or like just determination and like, you know, resilience. It's like, oh, you're not, I'm not losing this one. This, this, no, no, no. I'm not giving up. No, 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 no. Uh, you f if you stick in there and fight it, you'll see. They refuse to give up. But it's only energy. So if, we, if, and if you really believe and cognize that, because science is really telling you that millions of cells, this is a holographic universe, science is telling you as well, right, that you are not physical. Like my last video. Bells, go look at my last video I uploaded to YouTube. Big time. There is nothing stopping you from instant healing. Why it stops us from instant healing? Because our belief is so strong in our program that we are physical and that it takes time, you know, for this, because this is what you've been told, doctors. Take six weeks for the stitches to heal, does this, does that. But you can go watch a Buddha and go sit in the snow, minus 40, and give off heat to melt the snow, whatever. You know what I mean? Nothing is set. Nothing is solid. Nothing is solid too. Nothing is physical. It's our program belief. So if you determine, that's what Joe Dispenza proves as well, if you determine and sit there, even now with the, with the self and battling with us, right? And you just, every day you sit in meditation and you're not going to give up because sources, they watch you. And you're in there and you're asking for help, but you're also being humble, you know, you it's complete surrender. You watch it be given to you. You watch it go. You watch it go. But you have to believe it and you've got to be, you know, not willing, you've got to be like, that's it. Yeah, I'm not taking this shit. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? There we are. The ego is self-destructive. Absolutely self-destructive. So yeah, energy. It's pure energy. Absolutely. You are, but the difficult, what really, what people, what's stopping humans making a next level jump is we're still seeing everything as a solid thing, body. It's a, that's a big program to get rid of, eh? This is like, nah, 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 nah. but look, I can see me, I can feel me. That's your perception, yes. Holographic. There isn't, and, there, and it's proven even. Everything, even a table, it's spinning at a different frequency. Now you know this when you close your eyes and you meditate in your third eye, but when you look in the mirror and you feel things, we still, because that's perception, this is part of the Maya, this is part of the game. Else it wouldn't be much of a good dream, you know? There we are. Anyway, so yeah, is to break, we break this, we start doing your 30 days affirmation or reprogram the mind. I'm busy with it, that's why I'm also quiet, because I'm trying to assimilate this whole new level. You know, because knowing something, um, like knowledge-wise, yeah, yeah, I know that. It's like saying it, but it means nothing. You see, no believing it, but absolutely, like you, to a hundred percent. Oh, yeah, this is a reality. It's your absolute truth and reality. It's a done deal. But as we know, it's like the habit, the mind. It takes time. You've got to keep saying, "I'm not this body. I'm not solid. I'm not physical." It takes habitual programming and patterning to get, you know, the mind, the conscious mind to accept the whole, change the program. So, Bella, you can absolutely change your program if you don't give up. Just keep doing it. Okay, Betty. No. That's what I'm saying. You're not. This is an old epoch. It's only because we were told we believed because we were an old thing and we were physical. We're not now. You can tell, if you want to carry on with that you're welcome you can run whatever program you want science is telling you so i'm saying the new epoch showing us no it's everything's a reflection no we this is holographic universe is nothing physical that was the old epoch we were vibrating at such a low level anyway we're absolutely not physical no nothing is <laughs> there's nothing is solid there's no matter uh, the highest teachings of the buddhas discover this buddhism it's a, there's no matter. But they were just told as insanity, you know, no, no, no. But science is now like, oh, okay, yeah, what they've been saying is true. This is hologram. Yep. 
two thousand, two and a half thousand years ago, the Buddha was telling people, this is, your, your consciousness is, it's, it's arriving, it's conscious energies. In your third eye, you can see this. But it's just like, you know, the proof, it's a program, it's a belief. We have to change that programming, like Joe, Joe Dispenza's. How can people cure cancer and some can't? Joe Dispenza, some works, why? Because some change that program. Like he says, they go there, they stick it, they keep at it, I'm doing it, I, I am, I am, I am. And source, you know, gives them the validation of it. But it's not easy. I mean, I've been on this battle since three years now. To heal and repair, you know, all the in the Maya, not I. A lot was damaged, was done physically, all levels, <laughs> and always a huge amount to clear the the physical damage, the trauma, the this. Wow! So it's been a, it's just been added, been added, been added. But some of us have more work than others to do. You see. But this is what I, I was worried about. It's gonna, it shows, it manifests as physical, but it's not. And this is why when I was going to go, and I, for a minute it was trying to tempt me, the consciousness, oh, maybe you've got cancer. And I was like, not a freaking chance. I know I don't. Because I decide. I create. If you believe, how much do you believe that you're creating your own reality? I was not going to. I was not going to entertain that thought for a second. I was like, yeah, don't you even try and slip that not bollocks into my consciousness you not not no and we're not playing that game no bye-bye so i would not would not entertain that thought it was trying you know but there's a little bit of a doubt you know the ego was trying to sneak in there with its doubt to see if i would you know take the bait and i was like nope we're not doing that so when i went to the doctor as even the doctor was like and i'm like no it's fine don't worry most of the stuff i knew i was gonna be done i'm here and he's like yeah what what healing are you doing? <laughs> I'm sure they think you're insane. <laughs> oh dear, funny. And that's why you've got to cite someone because a normal person they'll be like, yeah, right. She, she's she's you know she, shame she's got a problem. Hey, but when you've got like by Joe's clever because he's got scientists and they're doing everyone that comes in there on his things. You know they're testing and thing and they're before and after. So he's got the actual, not just a one-off miracle. You know what I mean? This is the future. It all depends on us. But this new level is like a whole new level of I'm not physical. You are not. And you will actually see your physical body will start disappearing when you start doing that in your third eye. Yes. Exactly. Ego is going to try and tell you that. That's the ego. Absolutely. Literally. So if you know, and science is showing you, nothing's physical, what's the what's problem? It's only energy, right? It's vibrating, which we all know, esoteric, you know that. Vibration, frequency, yourself. Science is saying, yes, there's no matter. The table is vibrating at this speed. The physical body's vibrating at this speed. Da, 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 everyone's different, right? You're, you can do healing. We know all these things. So if you know this, you see yourself, you're not solid, and you can tell yourselves that. It's a program. You're, you're con As Dr. Bruce Lipton says, right, they're listening to you. They are conscious. Oh, yes, they are. Mine were having a party last night. They were so happy. <laughs> and they were like, so every cell in my body was like, yay! <laughs> Amazing. So you're talking to them, and you're like, we are not. But it, it, it's more than one day, at least three days, eh? It takes a while. This is what I say. It's not instant. For, I don't know why. Maybe it's just a test to see if you're going to waver or something. But it's like, we are not solid. So I'm talking to them. I'm telling myself that we are not solid. When this thing was giving me trouble as well. And, oh, maybe you've got the C. And I'm like, no, I don't have any of that. That's not happening. Go away now. So I was telling them, this: we are not solid. Nothing is solid. There's no matter. So guess what? You're talking to your body. Eh? You talk to yourselves like, like your friends. So guess what? Nothing should affect us. Why should any food affect us? It's just a belief. Some people don't. You can see they don't need to eat food, sleep, any of these things. If nothing is really solid, there's no matter. That means this shit shouldn't affect you. My cells, my body is not bound by, it's not bound by matter. So I can change my shape of the body. You can heal, you can do all these things. 
No limits. The limitation has been removed. The limitation is the program running by humans and belief, I am a human, I am a body, solid flesh, bones, I can't do this and that, da, 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 da. Here we are. But they're going to be leaving their they're going to be leaving their bodies behind in a thousand years. They will be light bodies in this Maya game. They don't won't even have by then they've really got this one down to down pat. Humans are going to transcend their bodies because that's you know, it's gonna be they don't need it. It's light. And they won't be bound by matter when they get this program out of their mind as well. That they everything's solid, so this is what's limiting them. Is their belief. It's consciousness. Everything is consciousness. There's only energy and consciousness. This we understand. This science even being even understand, right? So guess what? If there's only energy and consciousness, why don't we start programming the consciousness or the or beliefs or the into ah but you see, when you've got an ego, the ego is not thinking on that level. The ego is thinking from a control or whatever level again. It's not happening. I'm working out. As an individual, again, and that doesn't work. Mm. So is the world. It's going to be the biggest thing. It is actually, if you look at it, they're all their top money. All your big tech companies are into consciousness. But of course, we are specialists and we're looking at it through a lens like this. And I'm sitting, and we're looking at it from, from this lens of, of everything happening on the planet. And it's amazing. <laughs> Just from an observer point of view. Because if you're a scientist and if you're tapping in but not bought into a story, if you're just an observer, you're able to see more. Because you haven't got any meat in the, in the bone, you know what I mean? You haven't got any belief, any gain. You are just neutral. So from an outsider's perspective, you've got a much better perception or perspective because you have no money in the game no stake in it you you don't you no influence you don't want it to go this way or that way you're neutral completely so you see the pic you see you get a much better picture hi right? because you haven't got any you don't want any you're not looking for any outcome now we know from a consciousness point of view when you try and control the outcome because source you've got to accept everything as is when you're neutral you're just allowing that's when the shit really flows when you're trying to, your belief is not flexible and you don't want to and you're trying to do this and you want that outcome, you see your consciousness is blocking, you're then blocked. So it's easier for us to see, sit back and watch what's happening on the planet and it's like, oh, that's so, you know, it, it's so much easier and clear. you're going to see, well, what's the problem? <laughs> what are you not getting here? <laughs> but when your mind is very much like this, you're not going to see because you're focusing, oh, I can't explain it, yeah, anyway. Anyway, yeah. For me, it's simple. It's like if everything's energy and consciousness. Everything's united. You see, this is when they think, oh, now we can manipulate that. No, because it's all one. Source says no exclusion. You love all. This is what they're going. This is where they're tripping up. So we can manipulate it in this direction. Let's try and control. I want to control all of the minions. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> You see, that's not, this is not from a higher, from sources perspective, because we've gone into a higher conscious, not into a lower, yeah, anyway, whatever. Are you good? Good, good, good. And nothing is solid. And you never die. You're never born anyway. Mind blowing, mind blowing. Yeah. So I'm busy working on that assimilation. That, uh, I'm busy. I'm take. I'm busy. I'm gonna be meditating for a while. I'll be quiet again for a while. Busy working with this because some is very easy. It's like wow, okay, no problem. Others, it's you know, you're like, like you know, you it's one foot in, one foot out kind of thing. Hi, hi. So it's like mm, a little bit more difficult to, or there's resistance from the ego, you see, or something. So I'm busy with that because, I mean, I know it is. And you're like, I mean, last night, I, every cell in my body was having a party. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I just love life. I love, I love, love, love everything. I love me. I love this. I love this Maya, this incredible existence, right? Just to know it. It's such a, but it's such a, it's such a big jump for us. 
coming from this, I am a human and I've got a body and I'm flesh and blood and I'm solid and everyone's there. Now, it's a, the concept of everyone like everything's connected is is okay. This is where that's why science is reflecting it. The collective consciousness has now figured out and accepted the fact that we all one, we all connected. Okay, that's all right. So it's being reflected in our reality by proof or science or whatever, right? But the the, the next level up is that there is no separation like the tree, you, me. This that everything is me. That's an and it, there yeah oh, well. and then the fact as well that nothing is actually solid real or this is very for the see for the human consciousness the brain to try and get is that what you're seeing is I am source I am the creator I am projecting all of this none of it exists none of it's real and the body I'm in. So this is why I say that it's a it's my it's a mind game. The poor mind is is baffled, befuggled because it's like, well, hang on a second, where are you then? <laughs> because I am God, but I am not the body and mind. But I'm thinking through the body and mind. It's a it's a it's a, it's a yeah. So there's nothing you you can't you can't just try and grasp it. You just have to wait for it to assimilate and and you know and allow the thing just to settle and. Do your healing and clearing because it's so difficult to, to yeah. There's no you can't force it or try and make it or try and believe it or try and it just it is just is it it'll just come to you. It's just a process, and then you're like, wow, okay. Yeah, it's just it's, and then you sort of but then you kind of it's difficult because you've been playing this my ego, this veil thing for such a long time. So, okay, I release the ego completely to true self. I know I'm source, but then you'll all of a sudden you'll find yourself dropping in the Maya again. No, no, no. Okay. No, it's just a Maya. It's only Maya. That's all Maya. It's an illusion. Don't play in the Maya again. And then, so it's like this dance. <laughs> I'm in the Maya. I'm not, I'm in the Maya. I'm not. <laughs> it's a, it's a lot. I can understand why it's like a thousand years for humans to leave there or for us to transcend the physical body. Because, well, it's actually not long in the epoch. Seems like long. Not many life playing in the life game. But it is a it's a it's a huge shift to go from we're just this helpless victim humans and whatever and you know, we didn't even know the source and the gods is punishing God that's gonna do that to us and and we still believe that's separate. You see, there's God and me. This is a big, this is a very hard one for many to overcome because it's such ingrained in you and especially the way it's been taught. Oh, that's wrong. That's blasphemy, you see. And people, and you were persecuted, hung and killed for this. So God and me, this is a lot of people that's going to be resistance because they fear, no, 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 because that's blasphemy. I'm not God. I can't, you know, I'm not, to, to really accept it is, is a difficult for a lot of people. Because, yeah, but, you know, source and me. You see, you're always keeping a barrier. There, there's, there's God and me. There's, that ego is like, no, 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 I can't be source. There is nothing but you. I know. Uh, there's big shifts here. It's not going to happen overnight. So I'm, I'm dancing. <laughs> and then every now and then, oh, okay, the Maya. No, no, no. Let's get out there. So you want to, if you want to, if you want an ego to move around, we've got to stop feeding it, which is, it's just not easy, which means we've got to stop playing and giving our attention too much time into the Maya or oh, whatever. If I had all the answers, wouldn't it be, you know, knowing and being is two different things, you see. The being part is the part that takes time to, to assimilate or to become that, what you are. The knowing is, oh, yeah, yeah, there we are. Okay, boom, got it. Now be it. Mm. The being part, grace, as, as the Buddha say, it's, maybe it's just grace. I don't know, I don't know, people. Yes, we are. Is that what I'm saying, isn't it? Just meditate, just sit there and just be, just allow it, just allow grace, just know it's going to, you know, if you ask for the 
dissolution of the ego, it will be evaporated for you. It will be dissolved. Know it, know it. It's, it's I'm saying, it's a program. If we know, and we've seen by experience, by things, that it's, it's habit. The brain or the body responds to habit, right? So 30 days to keep saying it, breaking it, like affirmations, right? To get it in. So then that's all we got to do. So I just think, okay, just be patient. I know this. But even it's like I am that I'm, and then I'm, then I drop back into a being, you know. Yeah, well, well, it is a massive jump. So, so you are trust in that grace. You just allow. You just and you just trust grace, and you just as long as you don't give up, you keep trying, and you stay in there. You just be in that. And allow the energy, allow source, allow grace to do its job. But be conscious as well, because like, okay, you slip. So it's a mess. Same with me. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're not, you know, you're not really putting much effort again, or you're drifting a bit. You know what I mean? You've got to be there. You've got to be one pointed effort, focus, desire, energy in it as well. So this is a thing. But then we get caught in, woo, but it's fun playing in the mire here, you know. Off I go, oh yeah, more. You get, tra you fall back into this bullshit again where you think you forget you're a creator. You're creating it. You fall back into the like, oh my gosh, this is just happening, you know. So it's not something it's just going to, it's practice. And this is where most humans are putting practice into, but you, into that you don't. The way of being is a different thing. We've got to get into the way of being, practice. <laughs> Bizarre, hey? So, so watching the habits, watching the mind, the body, um, yeah. And then if you'll find yourself talking and being in the mind and TV and watching and this and that, again, you're stimulating, you, you're stimulating the conscious, the brain, mind. It's not going to be quiet then. The more time you spend out of the thought mind, the conscious and watching things and thinking, the better. Because it's learning to quieten the mind so the thoughts stop completely. So easy. It automatically comes. It automatically comes. That's it. It happens by itself. But it's learning that you need to actually stop the thought process. And that means you've got to consciously be tapped in. Consciously spend your time. Whatever you're doing, whether you're washing your dishes, it's like tapped in. You're washing dishes, tapped in. You're thinking, tapped in. You're sitting quiet. You meditate as much as you can. So the more and more you're training the mind, you're training the consciousness out of the conscious mind, the thinking mind. That's the. You'll see it, it will happen anyway. Well, there's no guru here. <laughs> no, no, far from a guru. Source, you're your own guru because you are source. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so hilarious, actually. So trust. I just I always do that mostly. Ask, trust, and you know, because you love yourself. Of course, there's only you anyway. So, source is not, but source is benevolent. It loves you because it's you. You are it anyway, whatever, you know, the whole thing. So, if you really like mean it and you like get on your, you like, and uh, um, with all your heart, your heart's in it, and don't think it's just gonna, it's gonna, you'll be tested. So you might have to fight, you know, stick out it. You might get whacked around with a baseball bat. The next day you're back there. The ego is going to really have fun with you. And then you're like, but as long as you just don't give out, it comes to you. And as I say, when you're too close to a big breakthrough, oh, the ego. Well, if, you, if you, people say a spiritual test, whatever it is, throws everything at you. So then you will really go through a really bad time, like this big purge. And you're going to think like you've lost it and gone backwards or like, you know, don't give in. And, and what are you going to do? Die. What's the worst? That's what I'm saying. I, I'm like, I'm past that. I'm like, hey, you can have everything. Everything. I, there's nothing I'm going to hang on to. You can have it anything. You know, the body, I've got no desire. I've got no fear of that one. You can, I can die tomorrow. I've sat there before. I said, right, if that's, I'd rather die tomorrow than not have that. You can take it now. I'm going there's no attachment to the body. There's no attachment to anything over source. That's it. You, you'll get it. You'll get it. You're welcome. 
it's giving up and then you will see you see your attachments oh wow to food to this to the world where are your attachments to the what you this is maya the illusion you attach to everything my kids i mean you believe because you believe you're a human these are my children this that you attach to money a job uh want desire i want a house i want 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 what what wants if you are the creator why you why do you need or want anything because you are it you're creating it you're making it you see so it's interesting it's almost the whole part of the game of the maya seems to be finding your way back to you trusting you the real you <laughs> it's having faith in the real you because we've been taught god's you know he's going to punish you we see this is why we have actually a fear of ourselves because we we took on the fact that we ego and we believe and we think god's going to punish us so this to tell pt trust and just say, okay yeah no problem you know trust yourself you believe you're going to get punished or that will be taken or you'll lose something the program was always there you see that it's not that way because we've had run that program so this is what we experienced because we believed oh well it's bad will come you're going to suffer and this and maybe this and you taught oh there's good there's suffering oh there's this that there isn't everything's neutral if we react whatever it shows up in our experience which is which is non-real if you react to it that's it or you've, you've labeled or you you think if it's good or bad and that's when we are we sucked into the thing but if we knew that and we just ignored whatever popped in your experience there's a good example if you want proof of this i, I listened to um the tibetan book of the dead now this is so interesting this goes back to the egyptian times and before in atlantis when they were te talking people or when they fell they didn't they didn't need this they were guiding people through the afterlife if you want to say so when someone died and if they hadn't reached a high level of buddhism the young say young buddha they would read this over the seven days they were talking to the soul guiding the soul through like when you meditate first you see nasties and you bump into what you want to call the what we call the demonic and lower realms right this is really what they're doing that's what it is it's explaining it's guiding the soul through when you haven't worked through what they call your egos samsaras your egos your, your you'll see shame guilt anger greed it manifests as things physical forms it looks like entities in your my in your astral or whatever you see and they explain what those are so now if you know this is say it'll take time if we've trained the mind into the thing like they do this is when they start when you see it as an illusion it's easy so when you reach that level they see these things they see it automatically appearing and they know it's not real they can see it's holographic so it appears in front of you you're going to be like you know and you know you're not real you know what have you got to fear if you know who you are you see and you know what it is so then you'll just ignore it you'll not have any reaction to it and that's when it has no hold of you the whole thing is like okay phew, you know yeah it's easy to do that then and if and especially if you know it's also there only to show you something so anything that pops up in your experience it's never a bad thing especially when it's you know it's like no joke it's there no joke it's there nothing this is a thing nothing is absolutely everything you see and experience in your life is has a reason it's a reflection so it's showing you oh the the work you've got this the lower side in you the fear that person's representing your fear that that person's representing your your control freak thing that person's representing your past future versions of the soul which has had many lives so-called soul which is also a maya it's a construct source creates the soul and the soul has all the lives and you believe they are you and you're just changing masks it's like your dream you're playing a character in this life and the next time you go to sleep tomorrow and you're going to dream about something else you're not the same are you no nope. it's a reflection it's a reflection of the reality oh uh, yeah anyway we get there you're welcome it is fascinating yeah so we are supposed to not this is why it works when you do that because if you are aware that the, everything is a mirror 
and it's there to try to show you, okay, you, you've got attachment, a weakness, you didn't learn that, there was something there. You expect it, so when something comes up, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, because the minute you resist or, don't, or d reject something, it will not leave your experience. And same with when you're doing the healing, right? Like when you go through like all of us and the shit's coming out, you're like, oh my gosh, you don't even remember. Oh hell, that was that. Oh yeah, that was that. And oh, that was that. And that was that experience. And I was upset. That was grief from there. And that was, you see, it, you've got to pull all the shit out in your meditations that you've hung on to. In this life alone is horrendous, so-called life in the Maya. You, this is the ego's game, you know, it's part of it. You know, oh, it's tiring. You've got a body and you've got all these lives and oh, what they call the cycle of or this whole illusion thing, okay? So this is what it is. So now if you know this thing is popping up, it's saving you time because you realize, ah. So it's something you didn't learn. It's a test you didn't pass. You took a lower perception. You, you made the wrong mistake. or So it's going to show up in your experience again to see, okay, Will she fall for this shitty job? Will she like take a, take lower pay? Will she shut up and uh, when a boyfriend's being rude? Will she do uh, whatever it is? You know what I mean? Okay, you've got a fear of that. Are you going to try and control this relationship? That person is, is is a mirror. They're reflecting something to you which you have to let go of, overcome. Maybe you're addicted to sex. Uh, there's all kinds of things people don't realize. They're attached to so many things. You've got patterns of behavior that you're not good. And this is what? We've just got to figure out, ah, okay, they haven't left. What is it now? If they're in my experience, it's there for a reason because I haven't cleared that energy. So what is that person? Why are they still around? Let me see now. What what have we got? We're sharing trauma. So he's reflecting to me, I've got trauma. I need to heal, is reflecting to me, whatever. What is this experience or that person being a mirror? For it? Because you, she's trying to show me. That's all it is. So if we know that, and then we're like, oh, okay. Because the minute you accept it and, and let it go, it, it'll leave your experience like that. You'll be surprised how fast it will go. Because that lesson is learned and it, it doesn't have to be there anymore. The longer, this is what's happening with the planet, they're not getting it. The longer you resist or fight or whatever it is, it does not move out of your experience and it's going to come back again because you didn't let it flow through. This is what the Maya is because all is source. Source is creating it all. The, as people think the dark, the good or bad, it's nothing to do with dark, good or bad. You are source. You've got to play that. In the Maya, otherwise, what would the game be? Where's the choice? You see? So, yeah. And because you know it's a dream, it's you, you can't die. So, you know, this is why these things, this is why the game goes like that. But we forgot. Because we were in such a low density, we were behind the veil who we were, so we were terrified. We were like these mortal people just going to die. And, you know, and whatever. Who knows? We got completely lost. So, yeah, anyway. We got lost in the game. Big time. <laughs> anyway. Funny. I don't protect it. See, it depends on your, what I'm saying. Once your belief clears, you don't have to worry. Because whatever you believe, you create your own reality. So if you believe you need something can, something has power over you, it's going to have power in you. Because you're saying, I've got to protect myself. I've got to, because you can hurt me. So you are saying to whatever you're trying to protect yourself, that being, that entity, that whatever you, you're creating it, uh, that you can, you, can, uh, you can do, psychically do this to me or hurt me or attack me. And it well, there we are. So it's going to keep doing it. The minute you realize nothing has power over you, nothing will ever bother you again. Because you're not focusing on it, so you're not giving it energy because you are creating it. Your, your consciousness is streaming all this shit. So if you are focusing on it, you are creating this being entity thing, it's because it's energy, it's representing something, and saying to it, okay, you can do this and attack me and do whatever you can, so I've got to, you know, fear you. 
So it's going to, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do that for you, no problem. <laughs> do you see? <laughs> it's ripping funny when you realize, oh, you realize, okay, all right, and that, that lesson will go. And then you won't have to protect yourself anymore. But it's a lot of stuff being put out there. Also, it's levels of consciousness, so, you know, depends on you. And if you buy into that, well, then it's going to keep happening. Yeah, I, I explained it. I went through that level big time. Everyone does. It's just part of the awakening. You've got to go up. You, it's lessons you've got to learn. I went through some, because I had so much trauma, I had lots of dark things pop up in my experience, hell, because I didn't understand that. The Tibetan Book of the Dead actually expa Book of the Dead expands it nicely. But because they have their own culture and beliefs, they describe them as, as Buddhist-type beings with this and that many heads, and you, you might see them as demonic things, whatever, however your belief and your teachings are. Are so it will represent because you are creating it. That's why I say it's fascinating. No one even go look at near death experiences. Other nothing's the same. Depends on that consciousness's belief system is what they manifested and experienced. Science is proving by the photon, the photon test, the two photons. Two people looking at it. If, they were, if reality was a set thing, each person would have uh, would have the same result. Would have seen the same thing, right? You and I are standing there, and we are looking at say uh who knows we're looking at a car hit uh, 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 i'm just trying to think of anything i can't even think of a song say a rabbit right and if we were both standing here and we we're both looking at the same thing we should see exactly the same thing but no you see this is what they're showing with the photon experiment so that means the observer is affecting the reality yes because you are creating it and I explained this when I was having all those in the beginning, uh, you know, lots of fear, lots of fa fear, paranoia. You're holding all this energy, you know, you've accumulated over who knows how long in your Maya game, conscious game, when you, since you fell into the darkness. Whatever you, that time, how long it's been in your soul game, how many lives or whatever you've played, this is all part of the illusion thing. That energy is there. Yeah. Yeah. So your fears, your anger, your doubt, your grief manifest as things. Oh, does it have fun with you? So yeah, you fight all kinds of things. <laughs> and you also don't know when you wake up because you're astraling and then you don't realize, okay, in, in the end you do, there's no such thing as time. So these wars have gone on like, uh, uh, whatever. So you're tapping into, uh, I don't, that's a whole other story. That's what I'm saying, because you're a source. All beings are you. All beings. That's how you can drop in and tap into them. Oh, that's my past life. No, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that everything is you. <laughs> everything, and I'll tell you the word is everything is you. There is no other than you. Every single so called thing, being thing is you. That's it. Mind blowing. Awesome, mind blowing. So yeah, I did. I did explain that. If you go down my videos on YouTube, older, older ones, um, there's some about the demonic realm and all those things. And I laugh because I had all these things. I remember I had the living, scared the living shite out of me. <laughs> the experiences I went through was like wow, all kinds of beings, and I was battling with that, and you know, in planets. And then I went through the planetary battles. I went through the other nasties, all that stuff, fighting with angels and, and other things, and well, lots of those. Lot. Um, lot yeah, wow, well, lots of it. But in the beginning, exactly, until um, I heard somebody who was a. I, I explained it. And then it was like, oh my gosh. And then it dawned on me, and I laughed. And then that was it. Problem solved. But. Whatever you took on before that is still there. You see, all energies we took on before we got the light bulb moment are there. Because you attached to them. You clung on to them. So if you didn't, you know, before then you've had other things because that's what you believed. So of course they're going to be there. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
hey, people, the, the things that the ego is, all their fears and things they've manifested as a race. So it's us, it's, it's us. All these scares and fears and illusions and delusions are the ego. Wow. And this is what each being person has to, has to work through. Before they, they're all going to go through this process. They're all going to get there. It doesn't matter how, whenever. There's no such thing as time. Doesn't, in this game, humanity is going up, ascending. Some will maybe will do it a lot later. But they're all going to. They're all going to go through their shadow work and ooh, go through all these some scars and get all the shit out and having to face their own shadows and fears and nasties and they're all going to go through this process. All of them. But it's amazing that yeah, the ego is, which is it's a veil. The ego is a veil you've put in front of yourself. That's all. So you don't. So you don't realize who you are. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the awakening is happening quickly. But whether this, as I say, this earth splits into two different, others stay in the lower, they can, you can choose. So there are others that are staying in the lower consciousness. This is what I say. They say the earth splitting two different dimensions, realms, many, I don't know. We will see. And we won't know. No. When you look at it from a source's perspective, yes. When you're playing source, oh yes you will, because you'll see it all. You'll know it all, because you're playing yourself. When you want to choose to play it, try and see it from here, then you're not going to see much, because you are saying, you are trying to say, I'm this little person, I'm a little being, so of course, if you're not playing yourself, how are you going to have you of all existence, when you are only being a little blip on the screen? You've got to be the true self to see it all and know it all. And this is what the Buddhas reach, Buddha, to get their the, the Buddha mind, is to see reality as it is. They are, the, everything is there. Everything's transparent. Everything is revealed to you because you are playing you now. There is no illusion anymore at all. All time, all realms, everything is there. You see? When you are playing a little being, a little body, that little energy, you, you squashed your energy into this little box, what are you going to see? Not much. <laughs> Not much. Because you are still seeing everything separate. So I'm focusing me and I want to see what's going to happen with that being. I want to remote view that thing. You see, you're seeing everything as separate. What are you going to see? Individual things. This is where we've got to get past the separate me, anything other than me. If you want to know all reality, you need to be, you need to observe it or be that consciousness. There we are. That's okay. Good, good. Forget it. You mustn't hold things in. As long as, it, hopefully, hopefully it's done with love and compassion, not with you did this to me. Because that just makes things worse. Good. Some, but don't expect everybody. If you're going to do something, um, do it from from yourself and without any expectation of they're going to be good or how they're going to handle it. If you get triggered by if they if they don't take it well and you get triggered, then you it's just you know, shows you where to heal. That's all. But do, but don't expect anybody because not all beings not all people are ready to face themselves. Yet, they're in hiding still. No, 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 no. <laughs> a lot aren't ready to, to face themselves. The ego's hiding. It doesn't want to dissolve. It's terrified of its of, of source of the creator. This is where the fear of God comes from. It's terrified of its, you know, itself. It's in hiding. So, yeah. There's resistance to the, to, to, puts up a lot of resistance. It's wonderful. Yeah, good. We've got to start somewhere. It's quite a journey, I and mean, that's why I started doing this, and I actually started recording it all, and I'm going to leave it up there for future, because I know if you go into history, they're going to be studying this time big time. It's going to be like, uh, I can't, like a thing in history where like, wow, there's the dark ages, and, 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 and psychologists and psychiatrists, and da 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 and you know, whatever, are going to be looking back at this time, big time. 
uh, huge because it's, it's, it's a massive time in humanity. We've from, gone from here to there. So I've kept a trail of my awakening. It's going to be interesting because it's a good study. So the people can see, ah, oh, there's a trail from your beginning. So working through your, you know, as you rise in consciousness, you can, your dark and your demonic realms and your this and your, as you come out, as I say, out of the darkness, out of the Maya, out of the ego, you can see how the person changes, your consciousness changes because it goes through like this. So I've done it on purpose. So when they look back one day, there's a good history. Wow. And then plus, never mind all, I had this thing had had so much, so much trauma and shit also to navigate and wow all kinds of stuff so it's an interesting case study for the future Maya <laughs> future humans they're gonna oh wow look at this chick because you've got all that trauma and da 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 da, -da and records as well you see and then you've got the awakening so it's a nice study for them to see, oh, look, look at the, you know, study, if they want to study human mind, human consciousness, whatever, you know, which they will be. Not look back, bang, then they'll be in a higher consciousness. There'll be more fascination. And wow, look at, look at, look at how, you know, backwards we were. Look at how, it's like us looking back now at the, at the stone age of those people. Wow. You even go back in time and you drop into that time. I mean, it's like, wow, it's, it's such a low consciousness. It's amazing, actually. It's like, wow, they really were prehistoric in a way to us this is how they will view us <laughs> literally you will be viewing yourselves as well they were really like fear dark paranoid you know humans we were in the maya in the in the you know really yeah slow consciousness this is how they will be viewing us so i have recorded all these my awakening journey and kept the record of it on facebook you i mean there's no lie and your, and your purges, as you're going through, the ego is going out, your projections. So you've got all your projections and your Maya and your this and that. You know, the whole awakening, basically, journey is, is caught. <laughs> Especially as the consciousness raises, you know, as you actually hit that straw and start, uh, you know, start seeing, as I say. Then what you start experiencing and seeing and as you work through. So it shows you um, all your... All it is, is what you are experiencing, what you want to say in your third eye or astral, is your consciousness, is your, how distorted your energy is. Because it's just a stream of consciousness, energy. So when you've got these distortions, which, which we call dark, dense energy, whatever, da, 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 it's just waves. So it's distortions. So it's incoherent, but think of it as blips. Literally, really, anyway. Uh, and my, it was a lots of incoherence in this energy field. Uh, my energy was so out of work that I'd fall over. I'd lost my balance. So I had built up such incoherent energy that the entire vessel was like on all levels, you know. So it's a good study because I had massive trauma at the physical. So it represented in energy my entire energy was completely out of whack in all in all aspects fascinating so anyway down the line it will make a good case study for them so i have kept it and then you can see as well people that are also waking up now i have a I have a guidance to know what they're going to go through you see yeah this is a maya this is an illusion this what we what we are in we're in the Maya, the matrix, however you want to call it. It's a Maya. Oh, okay. Don't know. Yeah. So I've kept it. I've kept it a, a study. So anyone that's now coming forward that wakes up, right, and has to go through this, like all of us, when we woke up, we had no idea what the hell was happening to us. It was frightening. You had no guidance. And you didn't know what to prepare for, how to handle it, like how to protect yourself from these things you're seeing, you know, all that, like everybody, you know, oh my gosh, how do you protect yourself and what do you do? And da, 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 da. and all these beings, you didn't understand what they were. I mean, it was terrible. It was not fun, let me tell you. Not fun at all. At all. <laughs> Some parts. So we've now, we were guiding. We look for someone to tell us, okay, yeah, you protect yourself and do that and put this around you. And you know what I mean? Everyone is looking out. So there we are. So I've kept a record 
of the of to see what was what we've come through it's also there what's going to happen to humanity every year the the shifts we went through you can see how we're going as the planet how we're going through it it's all there so it'll be a nice record study of the times and they're going to study this shift big time it's going to be a huge thing in, in, in humanity's history this shift so yeah, I've I've kept it there. So it also other people can go back now. People starting off, and then you need to go to my earlier videos though, because as you rise, it depends on when you first start off. You in the darky, darky, bumping into the darkness still. So that's the, my early videos, demonic realms, bad, 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 ET battles, all that stuff. You know, that's there. <laughs> wow, big time. Anyway. Mm. They're there, but it all is a Maya. Everything, nothing is solid. And that's another thing. Look, your third eye. When you see, when you see other beings, what do you see? Not solid forms like this. I'm saying in the astral thing, they represent as as what they really are, uh, holographic, like uh, light bodies. Really, this is what everything actually is those that really get to the highest level, like the Buddha, they see nothing is real. It, it's automatically like manifests as, as holographic, whatever they are. Did you? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> cool. Good timing. Well, exactly. We live in the Maya. What a good time. Or we're coming through the Maya. Oh, amazing. Eh? Awareness of the Maya. We'll still be in it if we, if we, as long as we're playing being and being in the Maya. Isn't it amazing? But yeah, I mean, they appear like we do, physical in the mind, but no, nothing is. Nothing is. At all, though. Anyway, peoples, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm, that's it. And maybe sleep. Let's see. I did sleep late this morning, so I don't know. And the energies are like, wow. Is anybody else feeling buzzing? Or is it just me? Because all of a sudden it feels like we've got a, in, a, a spike. A spike in energy. Who knows? Maybe we had another incoming. Oh, Happy New Year. Yeah, thank you. I'm feeling like, a, like we've had a spike in energy now. Are you? Now, all of a sudden, now, it's like, wow, what happened now? All of a sudden, I felt a shift, a sudden shift in the energy. Maybe we had another one. I don't know. I don't watch any of it. I've stopped. You, know, I get, you get bored with it after a while. So I don't watch the Schumann Resonance. I don't watch the so-called CMEs, you know, the sunspot, whenever, whatever, whatever. I'm not keeping a track on any of this stuff. I was at one stage, but it just but it gets boring. So you know it's coming in, and then I'd go on and I'd tell people, and then there'd be a flare or this and that because you feel it before it actually hits, so called the atmosphere. But it gets boring after a while. Even that's like okay, well you know there we are. They're going to keep coming. I'm not going to keep on every second day coming. On. Okay, new incoming, new incoming. You know it'll be like it gets, it gets whatever. But I feel it. Yes. Um, no, it's because we've had big energy coming into the planet, David. That's why. Um, huge, a big purge, a big upshift. In, yeah. Yeah, this is what it is. We've had a big incoming energy coming into the planet. And it's really, this is a massive knock up in consciousness. So you're going to feel it. You're going to either be running around like the ever ready bunny, and then all of a sudden you, like me, you're going to be like <gasps> exhausted. And as we all know, and then what happens after that? Any other energy that you haven't worked out of your system that's darker, denser energy, it's a purge and release for healing time again. Here we go. So whatever level now you need to let go of, that one comes up. Oh, wow. It's... Yeah. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Crying is the purging. Crying is stuff you've you got to figure out what's there. There's stuff that needs to be released. That's why you're crying. 
You need to figure out what it is and then it'll be gone. Poof. There we are, yes. I know, but now I'm feeling it now. I can feel it on my head too. So I think we had a new incoming. Oh boy. I hope we don't have any nasty storms or anything on the planet. Shit, I hope not. But all of a sudden, I felt normally it's slow. You start feeling it and you can feel the buzzing and the cells and my and my cells are going zzz, zzz, zzz. It's like it's like your cells being radiated. Or someone's like a vibration doing this for them. So you feel your cells going zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> But I felt now while I was talking to you, normally you don't feel it slowly comes. It doesn't such a sudden one. Yeah, I do I do think something. Who knows? And then I saw this meditation with the thing moving. So who knows? Maybe it's coming to the magnetic pole, as I was saying. What I saw in my vision now. Let's see what happens. Maybe there's going to be some movement or shift or something. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. There's definitely. I know there is. Yeah. But you can feel it on the head. Sometimes you feel it like here. Like it's like pressure on the top of your head as well sometimes. So you can feel like pressure on the head. Um, you feel it. Your ears ringing. Zzz, the cells buzzing. You just feel yeah, it will affect you for sure. So there could have been a new one that's whacked the magnetic field. Or the magnetic field shifted or moved. Or big blast that's come in. I don't know. But as I saw in my vision now. There's going to be a change. It is moving and changing. Interesting. Whatever that energy was. Strange. Are you? You can feel like this pressure. Someone's putting your head in a vice. Oh, all kinds of symptoms. Depends. Yeah. All kinds of symptoms. Yeah. Strange, hey? Yeah. All right, beautiful souls. I really hope you have a fantastic, well, every day is a new year. But try and visualize the earth as when you do, when you think about it, try and catch yourself. This will help you and humanity. Because people still haven't cognized them creating their own reality. So the more people visualize this perfect world, like now, not it's going to manifest because they're like, I'm going to heal. Because then you, you still, you are healed. Remember, when you're doing healing, healed. It's done. You see it? It's done. It's not happening. Same with the planet. We live on a perfect planet. Gaia is perfect, beautiful. Everybody living in love and harmony. We see it as a done thing and then it happens. All right. And we're going to. We're going to have a, a love revolution coming. I did see that actually in the meditation a while ago. It looked like strange. It looks like everyone's heart were connected like this. Say there were strings like gold threads. All connecting everybody's hearts. So it looks like this is going to be the year that this starts running through humanity. Yes, that's starting. I know. All right, love you all. Speak to you soon. I don't know when because, as I say, like everybody, I don't know when, you know, I'm going to be sleeping, purging. You, you think, oh, everything's, and then poof, you know, I don't know. And I say, well, this is another new one coming in. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I don't know. Let's see what, what effect it has on us. We're all going through it. There's no, you know. Well, if you exit the game for a bit, you won't be going through it. Everyone else that's still playing here or so-called living alive on the planet or whatever is going to know. <laughs> if they know, consciously or unconsciously are going to be affected. All right, lovely people. Bye. I've got to get out of here somehow and I have no clue. I can't even remember how to do it. Oh, there we are.